The sludge-nizer process starts by parking the vehicle to the dedicated work bay. If a preventive maintenance record is available, check if a previous sledge process was done already. Check for any vehicle concerns. Listen for any abnormal sounds. If white smoke is seen coming out from the exhaust, do not proceed. Check the oil condition and level by pulling out the dipstick and inspecting it. Inspect the filler cap and look for any signs of solid sludge. Place a clean rug to cover the hole. Leave a space when reinserting the dipstick. Use a vehicle lifter to check for any leaks from the engine. For any oil leak, abnormality of the oil quality and level, do not proceed. Drain the old engine oil. Use a metal strainer to perform filtration. This method helps in checking for any solid or metal particles that may have settled inside the engine. If solid or metal particles are visible on the strainer, do not proceed. Remove the old oil filter. Drain plugs and oil filters varies depending on each vehicle. Proceed with caution. Prepare the proper fittings and adapters of the sludge nizer machine for the specific vehicle being serviced. Prior to startup, the mechanic should confirm if the filter to be used is an element type or a cartridge type. Perform a quick but thorough check on the machine before starting the process. Power on the sludge nizer machine. Insert the SD card by following the correct orientation. Ensure the air compressor hose is connected to the air coupler. Pressure gauge should be from 0.3 to 0.4 MPA. If water or moisture is visible at the air regulator, release it by turning the lever clockwise and counterclockwise to lock it. To make sure that the old engine oil is totally drained, a manual collection should be performed. Connect the red hose to the oil filter fitting and start the collection on the machine. Connect the blue hose to the drain plug fitting. Ensure all connections are properly installed and free from any obstructions. Depending on the oil capacity of the vehicle, choose between small, medium, or large. Press Start. While the process is ongoing, a visual inspection is advised by looking at the sight class on the machine. Once the process is done, the machine automatically stops. Remove the blue hose and drain plug adapter. Connect the J-Type adapter to the blue hose to perform manual collection of the flushing fluid. The J-Type adapter helps in collecting remaining fluid in the drain pan. Once the collection is done, press Stop button. Reinstall the drain plug. Pour in new engine oil and replace with a new oil filter. Check the oil level using the dipstick to ensure the correct oil level. Turn on the ignition and let the engine idle for 1 to 2 minutes. Turn off the engine and recheck the oil level to ensure the correct oil level. Once again, turn on the ignition and do a final check. Step on the accelerator to reach 2000 RPM. Continue doing this for 1 to 2 minutes. The vehicle is now sludge-nized and ready to roll out again.